Okay, today we're going to talk about paint consistency. So, first off, I'm going to show you. Now, this is if your paint's too thin. Okay, this is just a Deco Arts paint that I know is thinner. I've used it quite a bit. And so, if your paint's too thin, okay, there's my dot. Now, as you can see, you see how it's running? Okay. I kind of just got this cardboard propped up here, so if it falls, I'm sorry. All right, now I'm going to show you. I add, when it's too thin, I add this Liquitec Matte Gel. So normally I add it right in my bottle. So this is going to be kind of a tester for me, too. I'm only going to put a tiny little bit. And by tiny little bit, I mean just a little tiny bit. And I'll add it right into my paint here. Now, I'm sorry about the camera angle and all that. There's not much I can do about it to get it so you guys can see it. Now, you kind of kind of got to smash it around. It's easier to do with a lot more in a bigger quantity than it is in a small palette like this. But it will actually thicken your paint for you. You just got to make sure you get it well blended. And I can see it's already starting to thicken because when I pull it, it kind of peaks. And then it falls. And you want it to fall because otherwise you're going to leave peaks in it. But you want it to be peekable. I don't know how else to say it. So, right now I'm pretty good there, I think. So I'm going to make another dot. Sorry for the delay and everything, but i got to wipe my tool in between. So, now I'm going to get some paint on here. And I'm going to go right next to the dot I just did. place another dot and I kind of smooshed it on the top right but that's because of the angle I'm sitting at as you can see though see how that bubble is staying more so in the center it's not running down to the edge that's what you want and if the bubble bothers you uh, you can do what I do and that's basically here let's go down to my palette well, I'll bring my palette up I'm sorry Okay, let's find it. Okay, so here's my paint. Now, if you go like that, you see how it's hanging there, like that? If you don't want the big bubble, if you just tap it onto your palette, see how it's less? You want to have some there. Otherwise, when you go to dot it, it won't be even. So see how I got just a tiny bit there? I'm going to dot right next to that. And it's hard to... I smudged it. I smooshed it up because it's the angle that I'm at right now. I'm going to do another one. And take off that. Let's see if I can get a decent and show you. Okay. So see how that's just got the little tiny bubbly? That's what you get if you tap that end off. But notice how the one that I thickened has still got the bubble in the center. The one that's too thin is running down the side. And the one I tapped off is like 
barely anything there. When you when you do a um, tap down on top of it, you won't see that at all. Okay, so that's if your paint is too um, thin. Now, if your paint is too thick, okay, here's my palette again. Let's see if I can get it in range. Which dot is it showing? This one? No, this one. Okay. So this is folk art paint, and I don't use folk art paint for this reason. Here we go. Okay. You see how it came out stringy? And this, let's see. See? This one isn't super bad, but see how stringy that is? Now you don't want to do that when you're dotting. So I add either pouring medium, which I'll show you. I just got this Deco Art brand. Let me zoom out a little bit. Pouring medium. Or I use this Liquitex blending medium. Now this will slow down the dry time. And I use this for when I, I know I'm doing a big project and it's going to take a while and I want my paint to dry out. And that. But I'm going to use this to show you in this demo because it's in a squirt bottle and it'll be easier to mix. I just would do one drop at a time to the paint. So here's the paint, and it's hard to see. I'm going to just do one little drip, like that, and mix it. And all I'm trying to do is loosen it up a little bit so it's not as stringy. You could add water. You don't have to add a pouring medium to it. You can add water, but it dilutes the pigment in it. Okay. So, well, I didn't do a dot before. So let me pour some more paint in here. And you might have to add a dot or two. Um, yeah, a drop or two, not a dot or two. So here's the one that is not thinned at all. And I'm going to make a dot over here. Okay, let's zoom in. And you see how it kind of peaks? It's, it's hard to see at this angle. I'm going to show you another angle in a minute. But I have to take the camera off. So I'm going to do the other dot first. Now this is the one that I loosened. And I'm going to do it right to the right of the other one. Okay. Now, I only added a drop to that. So let's see what it looks like. I'll take you off of there. Let's see if I can find where I'm at. All right, here we are. Okay. So, I'm going to go to this side. It's really hard to tell. The paint wasn't bad at all, that first one. You the bubble's still remaining in the middle. And it's not totally peaked up. Because it's not that super thin. The one on the right that I mixed in, I didn't get the air bubbles out. So, that's... That's not a very good demo. And I'm going to get some paint that I know is thicker. And I've... Okay, so I got this Artist Loft paint. And I've never used Artist Loft. Okay. So this paint comes in a tube. At least the kind I got. Let's try this. And that's thicker paint. I knew it would be. Let's see how this dots. 
So this is straight out of the bottle. Okay, and that peaked. Now it's thick, so it's going to remain in the center, and that's normal, but it's hard to show peaks. I'm going to try and lift this up and see if I can get a better angle. Okay. See how those other ones are less, and that one is more domed up. Okay, so we're going to add... I'm going to add just one drop and mix it in like I did the other. And I'm going to show you the difference. Hopefully I won't have air bubbles in this one. Okay. Now, you can add more than one drop. I do a lot of the times add more than one drop. And this still looks quite thick. Okay. Now, that actually looks peaky too. So I'm probably going to have to add more. Yep. Alright, I'm going to add another drop. Mix it in. And this is really how I do this all the time. I check it and then I get it to the perfect consistency of what I want before I use it. But I use Deco Art Paint a lot and most of that is just perfect just the way it is. And I don't really have much problem having to add stuff to it. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. That's better. That's the third one down there. Oh, I'm getting paint everywhere. I'm going to pull it down. And see how that's flatter? It's not peaking up. You just got to add just a tiny bit. That was two drops. And it's flattened it out. But you can use water. You can use pouring medium. They've got um, like this pouring medium with slow dry in it. But that's basically what I do to make my dots better. See now this was too thin and I thickened and I ended up with this nice dot here. And this was too thick and I thinned and I ended up with this dot and with that dot right there. And so, I mean, it really makes a difference. And it doesn't run down your page or it doesn't stay peaked if you add just the perfect amount. But it's all a matter of a learning curve to know exactly how much you need to add. But when going from thick to thin, just add like a drop at a time. And you'll be fine. And so these are, the again, the products that I use. And this is just my personal preference. Other companies make the same type of thing. I have this Liquitex Matte Gel. And this is like a medium gel. Yeah, see, medium gel. But I also have this really thick kind, too, if you need it. And this is, is a got in the gloss, which is the heavy gel. And this is medium gel, too, but this really thickens it a lot more than the other one. And then this I use for thinning, especially if I'm going to do like a big painting. I use this where it keeps it from drying so quickly. And then I also use 
this pouring medium. And this is the stuff you'd want to use in anti-acrylic if you were going to do pours and have your painting look like this. This is what you'd use. But uh, Liquitex makes a pouring medium too, and so does a whole bunch of other brands. So it's just personal preference. But that's what I use, so I hope that helps somebody. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.